Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Turbo Bandit Project. So welcome back. It has been a little while since I've done a video, but I'm ready to really get stuck into this project. I've got a turbo. I've got some pipe work. I've got the flanges so I can make a start on making my first ever set of turbo headers. I won't bore you with too many of the details now, but I'm gonna start working on the bike, taking some stuff off that we're not gonna need anymore. Got the exhaust, uh, I'm gonna take the tank off, the panels off, take the airbox out, because we won't need the airbox anymore. And then we can start looking at positioning the turbo and actually start cutting some pipe work up and stuff like that. So I can't wait to get started. So uh, yeah, let's start working on the bike.
now the bike is stripped down um, I'm kind of ready to to start working on it to do the turbo sort of things you might notice I've actually put the carbs back on uh, I've put a bit of tape over them so nothing goes in there I've got them on there so I can actually take some measurements uh, for the future stuff I've got to do uh, I'm not doing it today but I need a plenum which is basically a, an air box that's going to be made out of aluminium um, so I need to take some measurements and stuff like that so I can get prepared for that and sort of draw up what I'm going to do but the main thing I can do now is try and fit this thing my turbo so uh, there's a few things I need to do to this before I can actually put it on the bike uh, I need to do something called clocking which if you see this spout that's sticking out now that's actually the oil drain but I need my exhaust gases to go in here now when they're fitted on the car they're actually fitted that way up so I need to swap it around so I need to swap that around 180 degrees and then on this side the outlet which will have the compressed air coming out of it I actually need to move that up around to sort of 90 degrees so it's pointing in the right direction so I can have a pipe come down the side of the bike and to the to the plenum so yeah a few bits I need to do before I actually put it on the bike but I can actually give it a try and see how much room I've got to play with what angle I can put it in how high or low and all that sort of stuff so I think I'm going to have to uh, take some measurements do some drawing and deciding and then the first part I'm going to do is uh, a merge collector so I'm going to have a flange that goes on the top there and then four of the pipes are going to go into it I'm going to make that part first so I can then make a jig to get the header pipes to come into that merge collector so once that parts made I can then work out how the pipes come in so it's time to uh, get the angle grinder hacksaw belt sander and a few other bits and bobs out and uh, start making some noise and making a mess and seeing if I can uh, make my first ever merge collector so uh, yeah let's crack on shall we
it's certainly been an interesting uh, experience making my first Verge Collector. And there we have it. Um, it might look a bit strange at the moment, all the pipes are different lengths, but I'm quite happy with, with how it's gone. Um, I think it fits fairly well. It took a lot of finessing to get it to fit fairly well, but with the, uh, the turbo flange, if I make sure I put it in the right way, it fits in there all right. Uh, again, still needs a little bit more finessing and stuff like that. Now, for this video, I was hoping to sort of have the headers done. Uh, maybe, you know, mount the turbo under the bike. That was kind of like the, the plan I had in my head. But it really hasn't panned out like that. This has been such a sort of massive learning experience for me. And it might not have come across this way in the video. But I've sort of struggled to video and to do the job at the same time which normally I can sort of do the job and film it because I know what I'm going to be doing because I've worked on bikes before and worked on bandits before and I kind of know the job ahead but because this is a completely new experience and I don't know the job ahead I can't sort of think of the shot before I'm doing it so I've tried to include as much stuff uh, that I've done making these um, obviously there's going to be a bit missing out here and there but yeah it's certainly been an eye-opening experience and I hope you guys understand why it might not be as comprehensive or as, as maybe good as my other videos but if there is anything you want to know or you think I've missed out leave a comment and I'll make sure I read through them and I'll either put it in the next video or I'll reply to your comment and try and give as much info as I can I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Martin at Max Talk Cans for supplying all the pipe work that we've got to uh, build the whole turbo headers and the turbo back exhaust. Thank you ever so much for that. It's really helped out with the project and hopefully I'll see you soon. So thanks for watching guys. We really do appreciate you watching, giving us thumbs up and leaving comments. If you have ever got any questions or want to know anything, just leave us a comment. I make sure I always read them and answer as many as I can. And if you want to get a notification every time we do an upload, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon and you'll get a notification every time we do an upload. So until next time, we'll see you later.